Hello, my dear grade 5 students of Sheikh Abu Bakr Gumi Academy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm sure you're putting in your best to stay safe at this period of uh, the COVID-19 lockdown. May Allah continue to give us maximum protection against this very dangerous virus. I mean, uh, inshallah, today we are going to be taking a look at triangles. Triangles. We are going to see the meaning of triangles, the types of triangles, and the properties. The general properties of triangles and the unique properties of each of the types of triangles, inshallah. Alright, so we are going to start with the meaning of triangle. What is a triangle? A triangle can be defined as a plane shape that has three angles, three sides, and three vertices. Okay? A plane shape that has what? Three angles, three sides, and three vertices. From this name, tri. Okay? Which means what? Three. Huh? Triangles. Look at it. Okay? Three angles. Okay? Tri. Three angles. That means a shape that has what? Three angles within. That is what is referred to as a triangle. A plane shape that has uh, three angles, three sides, and three vertices. Let me, you know, put down a typical example. As you all know, I do not think there's any one of you who is not familiar with what a triangle looks like. This is what I'm talking about. These are the angles. Okay? These are the sides. These are the angles. And these are the vertices. Okay? It's pointed edge. They are the vertices. So you realize everything. One, two, three. If I am to name this A, B, C. Uh, this one. One, two, three. You realize they are all... 3-3. Three, three. I believe this is quite understood. So, a plane shape that has three sides and three angles. Yes. So, very quickly, we are going to see the types of triangles now. There are four main types of triangles. We have the equilateral triangle. Triangles. I need to put the types here now. Okay, equilateral triangle is one. We have the isosceles triangle. We have the scalene triangle. And the fourth one is what? The right angled Triangle. The right angled triangle. These are the four main types of triangle. Now I'm not going to take a look at them one after the other. Okay? We're going to take a look at them one after the other. So let's quickly start with the equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. That's the first type. Okay? The first category, we say equilateral. Now, a triangle is said to be equilateral if all the three sides are the same. That is, it has three equal sides. Okay? Three congruent sides and three congruent angles. That means congruent means equal or the same in size. Three congruent angles, three congruent angles sides that is what an equilateral triangle is and that's why sometimes it is referred to as equiangular triangle meaning all the angles are equal from that word you see equilateral equilateral all right now see equi means equal lateral means sides okay sometimes it is called equiangular Equiangular means it has the same angles. So, all equilateral triangles have the same 
magnitude of angles within and the same measurement of sides along its perimeter. So what we are saying here is that the major property of this equilateral triangle is, you see, you can say properties of equilateral triangle. Now, the first property is it has three congruent sides, meaning all the three sides are equal. The second one, it has three congruent angles, meaning all the angles are equal. These are the major properties of an equilateral triangle. I believe this is clear. When you are asked about the equilateral triangle, all these properties are similar. Let's look at the second category, that is the isosceles, okay? Isosceles, isosceles. Now, isosceles triangle, from this name, iso means the same. Celes means legs, the same legs. Okay, we are going to see what this refers to, why it is called an isosceles triangle. Okay, iso means same legs. That is to say, if you look at a triangle like this, okay, when you have a triangle whose Yes, if you have a triangle where these two lengths standing, these two lengths are the same, but the base is not the same, okay? You call that an isosceles triangle. That is the name behind that same legs, okay? That is it's just like, a, you know, two legs standing. They are the same. You know, when your leg, when two legs are standing upright, you know, they're usually the same in measurement. I think that is why... It was coined to represent as to be represented as what isosceles. So you realize that this standing one here and this one, they are the same in terms of length, but this one is different. Meaning, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides and two acute angles. Okay, what is an acute angle? An angle that is less than what? 90 degrees. Also, let me remind you. While we are talking about the equilateral, I forgot to tell you, all the angles in an equilateral triangle are usually acute angles. They are all less than 90 degrees. Because if we are to look at our general theorem of triangles, they say the sum of angles in a triangle are equal to what? 180 degrees. So isosceles, it can be in this form. It's either the base is shorter or it is longer. Okay? It's either the base is shorter or it is longer. So we may have it like this. Yes. We may have it in this form now. As far as the length here, if this is three centimeters, if this is also three centimeters, while this one maybe is five centimeters, this is an isosceles triangle, okay? You can see that uh, it's possible that this angle here may be an obtuse angle. That is, it may be more than 90 degrees. But these two other angles here must be uh, what we call acute angles. So you realize that this one and this one are the same. These signs in between the angles show that they are the same. Okay? The same applies to this. It shows that they are the same. This one may be different, okay? If this ones are two, and this one is one, it means these two angles are the same. This one is two here because it is larger than this one. I hope it is clear. So, the angles here, two angles, it has, it is a plane shape that has two similar angles and one uh, other angle, okay? So, let's quickly look at the properties. The properties of isosceles 
isosceles uh, triangle isosceles triangle what are the major properties one it has two congruent not three now as in equilateral two congruent sides that is two congruent sides these two sides are the same and the second one it has two congruent angles yes an isosceles triangle usually have uh, two congruent sides and two congruent angles okay that is two equal sides and two equal angles the other third angle may be an acute angle it may also be an obtuse angle let's see the third one now scalene Scalene. Now, scalene. Consider a triangle like this, where the length from this point on this side is different from the length on this side and is also different from this side. This is what we call scalene triangle. Okay, a scalene triangle has no equal side and no equal angles. So. That is what the scalene triangle is. Now let's see the properties of scalene triangle. The properties of scalene triangle now. Now it has, number one, it has no congruent sides. That's no equal sides. And it has no congruent angles that is no equal angles so all the angles within are different and all the sides are not the same in terms of measurement this is what scaling uh, triangle is there's one major other major uh, difference you realize that most scaling triangles will always have an obtuse angle as one of its angles the fourth type now The fourth type is what we call the right angle triangle. Now, it is a triangle that forms a right angle. Irrespective of the two other angles, a right angle is formed. Remember the meaning of a right angle? A right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. So once one of the angles in a triangle is exactly 90 degrees, we say it is a right angled triangle. It has the general properties of other uh, triangles too. It has three vertices, it has three angles, it has three sides. But the major thing that differentiates it from other triangles is that one of its angle is 90 degrees. So the main property is that properties of right angles, right angles, triangle. The main property is that it has an angle of 90 degrees as one of its three angles now. Okay? One of its angles is 90 degrees. I believe we are okay with this. Okay? Now, this is the main thing you need to know about these angles. All right? So, let's quickly look at exercises now so that we see how far you have understood this concept we have done so far. Inshallah. Exercise. Exercise. Now, I can say define. Triangle, that is what is a triangle. The second one, mention the types of triangles you know. Third, mention at least 
one unique when i say unique i mean a particular property now that it, one type of triangle has that the others don't have okay one unique property of each of the types mentioned ha huh. That's about all we have time for today, inshallah. It's see you next time. Goodbye for now.